Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. I'm great, teacher. And you? Great. Great, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, I didn't tell you guys, but um, last Sunday, my grandpa passed away. And I have been not feeling well about that. But yeah, I, I didn't tell you, but now I'm telling you. All right. So now you know why I was like confused and <laughs> maybe that's the reason maybe right mm -hmm. okay i understand it sure yeah so much. thank you very much thank very you so much. Mm. yeah he was 96 years old but he was in his best um shape right uh that's why we felt it too much he's got two years um suffering after a brain stroke, but he was doing okay. He was doing okay. But suddenly, well, God wanted him over there, right? He required there. Yeah. yeah. All right. Now, you know, and thank you everybody for feeling the same. Thank you. Okay. We are going to start a class now by calling the attendance. I have some of your classmates with trouble of joining tonight, for joining tonight, because they are having um, work issues and things like that. So we are going to start by calling the attendance, and then we are going to jump into, all right, into the topic. So. Let's start. Please remember to turn your cameras on and please say present. Andrea Sofia Benitez Gomez. Present teacher. Okay. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermudez. No, Blanca? All right. I feel sad when, when you cannot join, guys, any of you, right? Uh, Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Claudia, not yet. All right. Elenilson Aparicio del Cid. Present teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Uh, Henry Alberto Pérez. I'm here, I'm fine. Oh, you could make it. Hey, thank I, God. Hey. I, I connected uh, by uh, cell phone. Oh, all right, all right. No problem. So are you going to be as a listener? Yes, please. All right. In the, in the first hour. All right. No problem. Hernan Antonio Chacon Lopez. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Juan. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It was Hernan. Hernan. Present. All right. Present. All right. I'm sorry. There you are. Um, Juan Francisco Salmeron Alas. Present, teacher. Okay. There you are, Juan. Where were you yesterday? Uh, Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening, Blanca. I will check you in uh, just in this moment. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Claudia. Yay. Hello. You are making me happy showing up. Yes. All right. Magdiel Esaú García Flores. Uh, perdón, García Morales. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> ya le cambié el apellido. Uh, Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. He was on his, still on his job. All right. So, all right. All right. All right. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. 
Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Good evening, teacher. Present. Yay, you're back. Hey. Yeah. Hello. So nice. Sorry. No problem. No problem. Please catch up. All right. Please catch up with the video conferences. All right. All right. Rosa del Carmen Santa Maria Tobar. Present, teacher. Good evening. Okay. Hello, Rosa. I see Hazel over there. Hello, Hazel. Hello. Welcome. Okay, let's see. Uh, here. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Miren, ahora se salió un, un, un teléfono del, del, del WhatsApp. ¿Alguien detectó de quién era? Yo solo vi el mensaje, no lo he revisado. Super pregunto por si alguien había detectado. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. No Wilber yet. José Abel Aguirre Mendoza. Here present teacher. Okay. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. There you are. Excellent. Okay, people. We are starting the class by going to the manual because we want to complete these uh, written exercise. Remember, remember we are studying or identifying expressions and how to use them. Uh, usually we use this to express or to make the conversation easy going, all right? Uh, to make this going, mm, not so robotic, right? Or not by the book. Uh, it's a colloquial, colloquial uh, phrase that makes this more, um, I mean, this conversation warmer, all right? Warmer, mm, more confident, right? So that's how we use expressions, right? So let's go to see these phrases we have in our manual on page 30 and, uh, Let's remember, let's remember uh, what do they mean, all right? What do they mean? This is our feedback, all right? This is our feedback. Oh, the thing is that I had to, I had to restart my computer before joining, right before joining. So allow me to open this again. Here it is. Okay. Primeramente, Dios, que hoy sí no vaya a estar dando problemas. Quizás estuvieron actualizando o algo la aplicación de Zoom allá, ¿verdad? En los estados. Porque hoy sí que ha estado este Zoom bien, eh, bien tipo Halloween, ¿verdad? Hace que desaparezca uno y lo vuelve a aparecer. <ríe> yeah. Si en un momento se desconectan, por favor, inmediatamente vuelvan a conectarse. Porque probablemente puede dar ese, ese problema que ha estado dando, ¿ok? No es cuestión a veces de la internet sino que de la aplicación de Zoom. Ok, page 30. Page 30. So let's look at the examples we used. And hmm. I'm sorry, it was a pop-up message about Acrobat Raider. Here we go. Okay, here we've got them. We practiced them in the conversation yesterday and we have, I'll have a look at it. I'll have a look at it. It doesn't work properly. It makes a strange noise. 
I need to, mm, right? And remember the verb take off, right? I need to speed things up. I need to speed things up. Check the brushes once a fortnight. I have to extend the shot, a minor fault. All right, I want you to read it, please, Pedro. Can you read the first one? Pedro? Are you there, Pedro? Ah, but, eh, sí, están todos. Yo pensé que es que como hemos estado así con el Zoom, ya me había afligido. Okay, Magdiel, please read the first one. Okay, I'll have a look at it. Thank you, Ellen Nilsson, this one. The second one. Uh, yes. It doesn't work properly. Thank you, Karen. The second one. The third one, this one. It's make a strange noise. Thank you. Then I say I need to, right? I need to. Now, please, Blanca Alejandra, next one. I need to. Uh, I need to speed things up. Thank you, Hernan. No. Oh, oh he's, he's just a listener, right? Uh, are you as a listener? Ah, all right, now I get hola. it. Hola. Hello, Hernan. Are you able to participate? Okay. Or just to read this. Okay. Check the brochure once on for night. Once. Once. Once, once on for night. Thank you very much. Thank okay. you. Rafael Antonio, next one. Good night, teacher. Hello, okay. good evening. Hello, good you. I'm fine too. Thanks for asking. All right, can you read this box, please? I have to extend the shirt. Extend, extend, extend the, the shot, the shot. shot. Mm -hmm. I have to extend the shot. Thank you. All right, now, Eric Jose, the last one, please. Um, Miro, plus. Minor, minor, uh, minor, fault. Minor, fault. okay. Fault. Okay, Eric. A minor fault. Thank you very much. All right, people, let's get this pronunciation improved. Okay, I'll, I'll, remember, I'll, it means I will, I'll, everybody's saying it, I'll, properly, 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 okay? Strange, strange, noise. Noise, strange noise, strange noise. Speed things up, speed things up. Brushes, brushes, once, once, fortnight. Shut, shut. Extend, extend the shot. Minor, minor, fault. Minor, fault. Minor, fault. Ah, uh, minor, fault. All right. Is there any que question about the pronunciation? Are we okay? Then let's go to the next activity because here we have to match. We have to match the phrase mm -hmm, with mm, the expression, okay? I mean, this is kind of a concept. What do they mean, okay? What do they, they refer to? So number one, number one, 
small or unimportant problem. Small or unimportant problem. Esto podría leerse either or. Small and unimportant, right? Problem. Aha. Uh -huh. Then we have number two, check it. Check it. Number three, a period of two weeks. A period of two weeks. Number four, do something faster. Do something faster. And number five, make the shutdown longer. Make the shutdown longer. So we are going to match these meanings to the phrase, all right? To the phrase, because these phrases mean this, all right? So number one, what do you think, guys? A minor, minor fold. fold. A minor fold. All right, very good. A minor fold, letter E, right? Letter E. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Number two. Have a look at it. All right, what letter is it? Letter? C. C, thank you. Number three. A fortnight. All right, a period of two weeks, a fortnight. What letter uh, is it? Letter D. Letter D, thank you. Number four. Letter B, speed things up. All right, do something faster, right? Do something faster, speed things up. What letter is it? Letter B, okay. Number five. Letter A, extend the shut. All right, make the shutdown longer means extend the shot. All right, then what letter? Letter A. All right, people, is there any questions so far about these expressions? No questions, all right. Now, I will introduce a new topic for tonight, all right? Okay, so remember we are still on unit three. Unit three. And the topic for tonight is how to use present perfect. Present perfect. All right. The general topic of unit three is troubleshooting. Troubleshooting. All right. So we are in that context. Um, we are in the context regarding equipment, fails of equipment, repairing, and expressing issues, okay? And also mm, looking for solutions, right? In that context is that we are going to see how to use present perfect. This is your video conference number 12. And the objective of this class is that you will be able to use the present perfect expressing a problem regarding equipment, or it may be the solution you tried, all right? Then our agenda for tonight is our feedback. There were those written exercises we have already made. And now we have already done, yeah. Two, right? Reading and read, uh, reading and writing. All right, on the manual. Number two, the class topic and the objective presentation has been done. 
And now we are going to practice the past participle verbs, all right? Past participle verbs, because that's the um, main, the main difficulty with find, all right? We, we could find in these tense, all right? In this verb tense. And then we are going to explain a little bit about the present perfect and how to, how to use it and the structure. And also we are doing some exercises just to um, get straight what this is, all right? And then we have a listening activity about the present perfect, all right? Then you have this conversation on page 31 and you want to role play, right? I'd like you to role play. And then number seven, uh, and the seventh activity, we have a written exercise, exercise on page 30. E and <laughs> in the breakout rooms, well, it could be in the breakout rooms or here together, making sentences with the verbs that I'm going to give you, all right? And then the session one-on-one -on -one is available, guys. So please think, please think who wants to stay the 10 minutes after the class. All right, guys, I will stop sharing. A ver, todos tienen su lista de verbos? Yes. Yes? Is it handy? No, teacher. Okay, so please, everybody, go and look it up. Look it up. Uh, verb list. Okay, I will try to share one. Um, uh, Karen, do you have it handy? Sorry. Do you have the the verb list uh, on your hand? I mean, handy to share it. Mm, let me search. All right. Okay, I have it right now. <laughs> I found it. So I will share it through the chat, right? Please chat. Okay, there it is. Blanca, ahí puede accesar y los que no habían, no, los que no la tenían a mano, ahí está. Se las paso en Word para que ustedes vayan haciendo la más grande, ¿verdad? Todos los verbos que ustedes vayan eh, eh, queriendo agregar, ¿verdad? Porque esa es una lista sumamente básica. Eh, cabal para el nivel en que estamos, pero muchas veces hay verbos que se nos quedan, ¿verdad? Entonces hay que irlos trayendo. Porque el contexto en que estamos es work, ok, workplaces and our jobs. Entonces hay otros verbos que necesitamos agregar, ¿verdad? Por eso es que está en work, ok. Bien, recordemos cómo leemos esa verb list. Recordemos, how to read that verb list. We have two different kind of verbs. We have the regular and irregular verbs, remember? Regular and irregular verbs. Regulars are those, regular are those that end in ed and they don't change the root, right? They just add ed or d if they end in the letter e. So for example, uh, we can say we can say explain. It's a, a regular verb. So explained, right? Explained past simple tense, second column. Third column, third column is the participle form of the verb. So we go and see the regular verb doesn't change, just the same form explained, explained. We just add 
ED. Thank you very much, Karen. There you are. You're welcome. All right. If you see, we have in these other uh, verbs like verb B. Do you see verb B over there? It has a letter I in red, all right? A letter I in red, in red color. It means is an irregular verb. It changes completely. It changes completely. ¿Cómo nos vamos a aprender estos verbos? A ver, ¿alguien tiene una idea? ¿Cómo nos aprendemos estos verbos? Using them. Using them. There is no other way. Memorizing. Memorizing. There is no magic formulas. All right. There is no magic formula. So, um, okay. We have the first column. Infinitive. The second column, simple past. The third column, the past participle. That is the one that we are interested in tonight. All right. Teacher, and then the sorry. translation. Mm -hmm. I have a question. Eh, ¿Dónde envío los verbos? Es que no. Aquí, aquí en el chat Zoom de Zoom. No caído. Ah, ok. Entonces probablemente se encargan. Uh, vamos a ver. Eh, ya puede dejar de compartir, eh, Karen. Gracias. Thank you. Okay, so, um, por ahí lo, lo envié. Vamos a ver si, a ver, alguien puede ver si, si, porque desde ahí lo abrí yo. There you are. Ahí está en WhatsApp ahora. Okay, gracias. Okay. Thank you very much who sent it. Oh, Carlos Roberto, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, uh, class, we are going to practice. We are going to practice the past participle form of the verbs. Recall them, right? So I will send, oh, I will share a link with you. And we are going to do this exercise online, all right? Just to remember the participle form of the verb. Third column, all right? Third column. Okay, here we go. A ver, lo pueden hacer comentando, ¿ok? Por si alguien no sabe cuál es la forma, lo podemos decir acá, no solamente individual, sino que abran su micrófono y pueden irlo comentando, ¿ok? Llegaron todos ahí al, al ejercicio. Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, yes. okay. Easy, right? Very easy. Like this, Rosa said, yes, teacher. <laughs> Yeah, but past participle, it's like that. We have to memorize. When you finish, please send the screenshot uh, to the WhatsApp group.
I did it. All right. Uh, did you send the 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 picture? I was up. Yes, please. Just as a backup that you were working. There you are, thank you. Good. Very good, very good. It says 80, aha, uh -huh. we have to practice a little more. Let's see, 800, Karen, good. Okay, Andrea, en cuál se equivocó? Ah, en calm, calm, aha, uh -huh. it changes. A ver, 80, which one was the mistake? Bill? Pedro, what was the mistaken one? Sorry, teacher. Uh-huh, and- um, Sorry, I have a question. Tell me. Ando un poquito perdido. Eh, la vez pasada me quise salir de, de aquí para pasarme a otra a otra ventana y fue que me cerró todo. Oh. Eh, desde el WhatsApp, ¿a dónde es que se meten al a dónde están haciendo el ejercicio? En el eh, tiene que estar ahí la ventana si la tiene abierta. Si la tiene abierta la ventana, si no es que ya la cerró, porque ya usted ya me mandó de regreso para acá, ¿verdad? Entonces, con la flechita, váyase para atrás. Está en, en, en celular, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, teacher. Entonces, váyase con la flechita para atrás, o si no, saque todas las ventanas para que pueda ver en cuál. Sí, let me try. Yo digo que con la flechita para atrás lo va a llevar perfectamente. I will try, pero no me, no me deja, voy a tratar. Ok. Ok, did everybody finish? Okay. All right, we have to practice that. And if we have any um, dot, what's the past participle of any verb, we can look it up on the list, on the verb list, or if you want also in a dictionary. Remember, it's the third form. A veces en el diccionario solo va a decir tercera forma, ¿verdad? O en, en Google, si ustedes lo encuentran, tercera forma de él. Entonces, tercera forma es el past participle. All right. Okay, people. So let's go to the next activity. Now we practiced a little. The past participle. Now we have it on mind. It's the third column, That's the third form. So we want to talk about what is the present perfect? What is the present perfect? Do you have any idea? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is a verb tense. ¿En qué quiero saber? Yo me siento bien solita porque no los miro. A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. ¿Quiénes están por acá? Vamos a ver. Ok. Ajá, por ahí los veo. Sí, es que a veces pienso que no, no están. Yeah, pero vamos a ver. Ok, the present perfect tense is the verb tense that is compound by. 
the, ver the verb have, the verb have, plus the past participle. What does it indicate? What does it indicate? Or when do we use the present perfect tense? We use the present perfect tense to talk about things that didn't finish in the past. They started in the past, right? They started in the past, but they continue to the present, all right? They continue to the present. Sometimes it's indefinite when in the past these action happened, all right? But there are uh, three um, situations where we can use the present perfect. The first one is when the action started and finished in the past, all right? But it was in an undetermined, undetermined time, all right? Now we have the second use, it's for repeated action, repeated actions. It means habits, things that we are used to do, okay? Uh, repeated actions in the past. Maybe when we were younger, we had some habits, right? And we want to express those habits as I think that was continuous in a period of time, but in the past and it finished, right? And it finished, that period of time is closed. So then we use the present tense, all right? The present tense. Also, also these repeated, act repeated actions in the past are expressed by saying the time of repetitions, right? The time of ref uh, or the time of repetitions, right? Now, the third form or the third use is that the action started in the past and is this, this line. Look, this blue line, it says the action started in the past and continues, right? to the present and it's unfinished, it's unfinished. Maybe it's going to continue to the future and we don't know. For example, I have worked in this company since mm, 2020 or 2019, 2000, and we say any uh, date in the past. I'm still working for that company, okay? But you understand that I, ha I have been working in the company all the time, right? From then to now, okay? Th that's the situation where we use the present perfect tense. Okay, how is it formed? With the verb have and the past participle. Let's look at some examples, all right? Let's look at some examples because we have this situation. For the affirmative, affirmative statements using the present perfect is the same, the same conjugation of verb B. For I, you, we, and they, we use have, okay? The form have, okay? Like this, I, you, we, and they have. And the conjugation or the form of the verb have for the third person is he, she, it. I mean, he, she, it use has, all right? So he has, she has, it has. And we add the past participle verb form, all right? So now let's look at these examples to see how these work, all right? to see how the present perfect work. Remember that our context is troubleshooting. Remember that, all right? That is why these sentences are kind of long and they have different vocabulary. It's not just verb and they have and then the past participle and a short complement. No, here we are 
on the way. That is why I said jump into, right? Number one, number one, it says, I have checked all possible causes, right? I have checked all possible causes. Yo he chequeado todas las posibles causas, okay? ¿Cuándo lo hizo? Indeterminadamente en el pasado, ¿verdad? It's undetermined when this happened, but it has happened, all right? So there is expressing that he did this action in the past in repeated occasions maybe, right? Number two, the technician has replaced the batteries over and over and it doesn't work, right? All right, so the technician has because the technician could be a she or could be a he. So has replaced, replaced. This is the past participle of what verb? The verb replace, right? Replaced the batteries over and over. Number three, number three, the leakings, the leakings have damaged the washing machine. Hmm. Ese constante goteo, verdad? The leakings. La fuga o las fugas, porque es plural, usamos have, because this is a plural, okay? Have damaged, han dañado la máquina, la lavadora, ¿verdad? La lavadora. All right, number four. The plane has landed on time. Has, because the plane is eat, remember? The plane has landed on time, all right. Number five, the engine has started properly. The engine has started properly. So it's done, right? It's done. Ahí tenemos que ir teniendo algunas consideraciones. Vamos, seguimos que este es it, ¿verdad? Seguimos que este es it. Vamos, number six, employees, have reported the fault several times. Employees have reported the fault several times. All right, here you see, uh -huh. repeated, right? Repeated action, uh, but it's the second case. This is the second case because it is not a habit to have a, a fault, right? Number seven. A responsibility of employers, todo eso es el sujeto, miren, a responsibility of employers has caused many accidents in the factory. A responsibility of employers has caused many accidents in the factory. All right, la responsabilidad de los empleadores ha causado Muchos accidentes en la fábrica. Number eight, the restaurant has closed the auxiliar kitchen. Number nine, his company has, uh, esta se entiende, ¿verdad? It and has, ¿verdad? It and has. Ah, en la anterior, se entiende por qué es has y no have, ¿verdad? Yes. All right, porque es la irresponsabilidad, it, ¿verdad? Okay, number nine. His company has increased sales in no time, right? His company has increased sales in no time. His company eat, then we use has, then we pass, we use past participle, and then the complement, all right, of the sentence. Anything we want to say about uh, that happened in that action. Number 10, the labeling machine has stopped three times today. Mm. The labeling machine has stopped three times today. Okay, now. Rafael Antonio will read number one, Ellen Nilsson number two, Eric Jose number three, and um, Karen number four, Matiel number five. Okay, let's start. Let's get started. 
I have checked all possibly cows. Causes. Causes. Mm -hmm. and repeat. Yes, please do it. Mm -hmm. I have checked uh, all possibly causes. All right. Next. Okay, the technician has replaced the batteries over and over. Thank you. Uh, the live things have they made the watch damaged, 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 mm -hmm. damaged the washing machine. All right, this is leakings, mire Eric, leakings. Uh, mm -hmm. Leak is the verb mm -hmm. gotear, okay, o que okay. se fuga algo, algún líquido, verdad? Entonces, leakings son las fugas, okay? the okay. leakings. A ver, repeat it, please, Eric. The leakings have damaged the machine, the watching machine. Machine, all right, machine. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Eric. Number four. The plane has landed on time. All right, landed, landed. Landed. Mm -hmm. I confuse it what is I or E. Uh, no, it's Ed, 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 like that, Ed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even if it is a T, then you say Ed. It, the, the, the symbol seems like an E, but it, it is the symbol of an A, right? All okay. right. Mm -hmm. Number five, please. The engine has started properly. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Bien, aquí lo que tenemos que ir teniendo el cuidado es la pronunciación de ed y el uso correcto de la forma de el have, ¿verdad? ¿Qué es lo que estamos expresando? Una cosa en el pasado que probablemente no ha finalizado y va, va a finalizar después de que hablamos, ¿verdad? Después de este tiempo presente, probablemente. O finalizó en el pasado, pero en un periodo en que hubo una repetición, ¿verdad? Eh, o también sucedió, pero en un tiempo indeterminado. Y esa es la diferencia de que no usamos el pasado simple, ¿verdad? Sino que el presente per, eh, perfecto, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Uh, uh, um. Number six. It's going to be for Pedro. Number six. Rosa, number seven. Blanca, number eight. Um, Carlos Roberto, number nine. And Claudia, number 10. Please, let's get started. Rosa, Pedro. Fede, me dijo, teacher. Yes. Pedro, are you there or are you still as a listener? Yes, teacher. All right. Can you read the number six? Okay. Uh, employees had reported the foul several times. Thank you very much. Continue, Rosa. The responsibility of employers has caused many accidents in the factory. Mm -hmm. The restaurant has closed the auxiliary kitchen. Carlos? Yes, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. This company has increased sales in on time. Uh, number 10. Yes. The leveling machine has stopped three times today. All right. This is the verb stopped. I see, mire con O. Oh, stopped. Mm -hmm. Stop. Ajá, y esta es una E, ¿verdad? No es una I, sino que stop, pero suena, esta no suena, ¿ok? Entonces vamos a hacer, esta E de va a sonar como una T, stop, stop, uh -huh. eso, así, correcto. All right, guys, uh -huh. thank you very much, Claudia. All right, so now we are going to see the next part. Because this can be in affirmative, it can be also in the negative form, right? 
the negative form, we just add the particle not, all right? After the verb have, right? before the verb, right? Before the main verb. So I have not, you have not, he has not, she has not, it has not, we have not, and they have not, all right? There we are, adding this and not. Here we are. ¿Mm? Esto lo podemos contractar para cuando hablamos, ¿verdad? Y sea más fluido. We can contract this to be more fluent, right? Or and when we are speaking. So we use I've, I've, okay? We use the apostrophe and the letters V-E, right? V-E. And a positive or affirmative, we can also say just I've. All right, I've, you've, his, she's, it's, with, and they've, right? Vamos a ver, quiero que abran sus micrófonos y vamos a decirlo contractado, okay? Que se oiga como que fuera una F, esa, I've, I've, okay? I've not, you've not, a ver todos. I've not, I've not, I've not, you've you've not, not he's, he's not, not. Very good, very good. We use I've, I've not, you've not, he's not. Ahora, ¿qué sería lo que nos puede dar problema acá? ¿Verdad que esto se parece mucho a algo que ya conocemos? The verb be. Yes. yes, ajá, ahí es donde tenemos que tener un poquito de eh, cuidado, ¿verdad? Cuando escuchamos o para entenderlo, ¿verdad? Incluso pues para hablarlo quizás es un poquito más fácil porque nosotros sabemos que estamos usando ese, pero cuando alguien nos lo dice, nos quedamos, eh, lo ha hecho o no lo ha hecho, ¿verdad? O está o es, ¿verdad? Entonces, yes, teacher, but I think that it depends on the context. Exactly. That's the point. Um, if the next part, right, if the next part is a participial verb, all right, then this is has, right? This is has. Yeah. It has, she has. I mean, she has, he has. Ahora, see, see. Porque sí pueden encontrar así, miren, ya les voy a enseñar así. Pueden encontrar que diga it's, perdón. Ay, sí. Así, it's done. Ajá, ¿qué querrá decir it's done? Hasta donde lo hemos conocido es con el verbo be, ¿verdad? It is. ¿verdad? Exacto. Uh -huh. Ahora, it's gone. ¿Se ha ido? Uh -uh, se fue. ¿Verdad? Y es con el verbo to be. Yeah, este es con el verbo to be. Estos son verbos participios, ¿verdad? Verbos, eh, well, participial form of the verb. Pero imagínense entonces, ¿cómo lo vamos a diferenciar? Bueno, normalmente, normalmente, eh, será, será en el contexto, ¿verdad? En el contexto alrededor de la plática, pero normalmente van a, o lo más común es que haya una frase completa. ¿Ok? For example, um, una... Eh, frase como las que aprendimos, una cláusula, ¿ok? Una cláusula que tiene un sujeto, tiene un verbo, pero puede ser dependiente o independiente, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí en el contexto lo vamos a ir viendo, ¿sí? Por el momento solo estemos conscientes de que podría ser it is. Entonces, tengamos ese cuidado cuando leamos, oigamos o algo, ¿sí? Bien, vamos a ver. Entonces, tenemos dos contracciones. Podemos decir, I've not, o puedo decir, I haven't. I haven't. 
así como otros eh, verbos ¿verdad? auxiliares que hemos utilizado ya antes, ¿verdad? I've not or I haven't. ¿Cuál es más suave? I haven't. I've not es como más enfática de not. The, act, the, the negation, right? The, the, um, uh, the particle not is emphasized. So we could say you've not, you haven't. He's not, he hasn't. She's not, she hasn't. It's not, it hasn't. We've not, we haven't. They've not, they haven't haven't. All right. Now let's look at these verbs learned. A ver, pronunciémoslos. Pronunciemos estos verbos. No los voy a decir yo, solo los voy a señalar, ¿ok? Y ustedes lo van diciendo, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Open your microphones. Remember what I want you to be careful is with the endings, all right? And to learn the irregular form. All right, let's start. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Learn. 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 Oh my God, there is someone who has a lot of... Uh, ¿Quién tiene la interferencia? ¿Alguien sabe? Tal vez algún cable está haciendo interferencia. Ok. Bien. Creo que no lo vamos a pronunciar todos ahorita, por amor a quien no puede con, eh, con el sonido. Ok, los voy a pronunciar yo. Learned, learned, studied, studied. Ustedes ahí solitos pronunciándolo. Studied, bought, bought, reported, reported, sent, sent, done, done, had, had, replaced, replaced. Verified, verified, tested, tested, changed, changed, explained, explained. All right. Now we are going to the conversation we have on page 30, right? 31, on page 31. Have you ever had any problem with your computer and your job? Have you ever had a problem with your computer? ¿Cómo yes. respondemos? Vamos a decir, yes, I have. All right, yes, yes I, have. I have. Ahora ya no vamos a decir, yes, I do, porque no estamos usando do, ¿verdad? Estamos usando have. Entonces, yes, I have. Mm -hmm. Who do you report to? Who do you report to that problem? Who do you report that problem to? ¿A quién le reportan ese problema? Who do you report that problem to? Al supervisor. To your supervisor, all right. Mm -hmm. Oh, technician en, en redes, ¿cómo es? Okay, the technical support. Technical support. Mm -hmm. All right. The mountain, the mountain support. Maintenance, all right. It could be maintenance. Yes, but computers are more are more from IT department, right? From IT department issue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now we are going to see how they manage this situation, all right? How they manage this situation and what language they are using, all right? So please notice the words in bold, all right? What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked? All the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. 
we have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with our equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Mm. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends, the sam sends them a memo every week. I see, by the way, the technician is coming. Great, I hope he can fix this problem. All right, I will read it again. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked? All the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great, I hope he can fix the problem. Okay, is there any question so far about the vocabulary used in this conversation? What's warm? Warm. Warm. Mm -hmm. Want. Want. And, mm -hmm. and the last, in the, in the, in the, in the last. The first. All right. Uh huh. What's warm with the computer, George? Warm. Wrong. No. Wrong. Wrong. Okay. Wrong. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And okay, voy a empezar por want. Want is the short for will not. Okay, this is will not, want. Okay. Teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. Wrong. Tell me, tell me, Juan. Uh, what's Abel? Roll call, teacher. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Juan. Just give me one second. Wrong means a eh, problema in este caso, okay? Problema. Pero wrong en sí es equivocado o equivocarse, ¿verdad? To get wrong es equivocarse. Wrong es algo equivocado. Algo que tiene un problema. Okay, cuando preguntamos what's wrong, es como decirle, hey, ¿qué está mal? ¿Verdad? O ¿cuál es el problema? Ok. All right. Ok. I will fold. Uh -huh. Offensive. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry. Is is offensive the, the phrase in the English? What wrong with you? Yes, it's the same meaning. What's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Hey, que te pasa, vos? Eso quiere decir. Hey, what's wrong with you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I will stop sharing. Ok, por favor tengamos cuidado porque eh, alrededor de nosotros hay bastante interferencias, sonidos que afectan a sus demás compañeros para que puedan escuchar. Y los que tenemos audífono, eso nos penetra así muy fuerte, ¿verdad? Y es algo molesto, ¿verdad? Entonces, por favor, eh, seamos conscientes de eso. Y cuando queramos participar, abrimos nuestro micrófono, pero lo volvemos a cerrar, ¿verdad? Volvemos a apagar el micrófono para poder eh, seguir con la clase, ¿ok?
please everybody uh, get ready. I'll call the road right now. So please turn your cameras on. And when I call your name, you say present. Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Present teacher. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present teacher. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Present teacher. Elenilson Aparicio del CID. Present teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cervellón. Present teacher. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Present teacher. Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Magdiel Esaú García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Cerna Díaz. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Santos Ezequiel Núñez Mejía. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Okay. José Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. Present teacher. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay, people. Now we, we are continuing with this. Okay, please role play the conversation. Let's look at Eric Jose and Hazel, please. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you empiezo? Uh, yes, it is okay. Thank you. Okay. What's, what's wrong with the computer, Georgie? George. 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 Mm -hmm. Hello. Look. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it now turned on. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked at the cables? Are cables? Cables are pocket? Plugged. Yes. Plugged. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have no very fit the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the battery? No, they haven't. My boss sends then a uh, memo very every week. I see. By the way, the technical is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. All right. Very good. Ajá. Veo que los nervios los traicionan a ustedes, chicos, porque eh, sí saben cómo se dice, pero al momento de que vamos a soltar la lengua, ¿verdad? Ya se nos traban las carretas. <laughs> Pero ya vi que son los nervios, niños, ya lo vi. Bien, vamos a ver, entonces, afinemos un poco las pronunciaciones. Before continuing, uh, it says, have checked, have checked, 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 ok, con una T al final. Y prácticamente unido con it sería, have checked it, checked it. Hmm? I have checked it. Ajá. Vamos a ver. Esta es want. 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 Ah. Want. Vamos a ver. Um, otra vez acá, checked it. Ahora, este es verified. Verified. El verbo en tiempo presente es verified. 
¿verdad? Verify. Y si yo digo verify aquí, no estoy diciendo el correcto, la forma, ¿ok? La forma correcta es verified. Tiene que sonar esa de verified. ¿Mm? Vamos a ver. Um, esta, replaced. Replaced. Una T al final, ¿verdad? Replaced. Hmm. This is technician. 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 All right. Veamos la pregunta. ¿Cómo se hace la pregunta? Ahorita ya sabemos cómo se hace la afirmativa, la negativa. Y aquí tenemos preguntas. Do you see how they formulate the question? Have you seen it? All right. Here we've got an example. Look, it says, have you checked? Have you checked? Ah, entonces quiere decir que la fórmula, it wants. Okay, it means that the formula is the verb have or has at the beginning, right? Plus the subject. Okay. Mm -hmm. Plus past participle. of the main verb plus the complement plus the question mark, all right? Are we okay so far? Crystal. Excellent, right? So this is the question, have or has, right? Mm -hmm. Have or has. The subject, okay, the past participle form of the main verb. Of the main verb plus the complement plus the question mark. ¿Cómo contestamos? Ajá, ¿cómo contestamos una pregunta? Como esta sería una pregunta directa, ¿verdad? This is a direct question. Question. It means that it requires just a short answer. And the short answer is yes. Yes. Or no, right? Yes. I have. Uh -huh. En el afirmativo nunca lo vamos a contractar para contestar, ¿verdad? En el, la primera persona, no. En tercera persona, no. No vamos a decir, yes, I. Mm -mm. No vamos a decir, yes, she's. No, no. Tenemos que decir, yes, she has. Ok, completo. Pero sí podemos usar la contracción en el negativo. Ok, no, I haven't. All right. Y así conjugamos todas las personas para contestar, ¿verdad? Are we okay? Veamos conte cómo contestaron acá. Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. You see? Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver lo del technician. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. You see? This is the way to ask and this is the way to answer. Okay. Claro que existen preguntas de información, ¿ok? Preguntas de información en donde vamos a usar las palabras de pregunta, ¿verdad? Como la que les decía ahora. Where have you been? All right. Where have you been? Ah, ¿dónde has estado? ¿Verdad? ¿Okay? Entonces, esa no va a decir, yes, I have, no. Esa necesita una respuesta completa. ¿Qué necesita? Un subject, un verb and complement, right? I have been to the school, right? For example, I have been to the school, right? 
he estado en la escuela. All right. No more questions. No more questions. Okay. Now, vamos a la siguiente parte. Nos vamos a ir al break room a practicar esta conversacioncita. Y también vamos a eh, completar la actividad de comprensión. The comprehension activity number three. It's a figure it out. Okay, we have to circle the correct words to complete the statements in teams. All right. These are the the statements, all right? These are the three statements and you have to circle what is correct, okay? Are we okay so far? What are we going to do in the breakout room? Practice the conversation. Yes, I'm okay. Figure it out, all right. Es que ustedes saben que yo siempre les pregunto, hello, Henry, all right. Uh, nice, welcome. Siempre les pregunto qué vamos a ir a hacer porque eh, pues allá no queremos estar. Y mire, usted entendió, usted oyó qué dijo y usted lo tiene. Mire, y no me lo puede pasar, ¿verdad? Entonces, para que ahorita ya todos estemos alistando ahí rapidito, ¿verdad? Lo que vamos a usar. Ok. Esperemos que no nos vaya a sacar cuando nos vayamos a la sala, porque sí ha estado un poco con gripe el Zoom ahora. Ah, tenía dos oyentes ahorita. Bueno, Henry ya apareció, gracias a Dios. ¿A quién más tenía como oyente? Hoy ya estamos todos de regreso. A Hernán tengo como oyente, ya me acordé. Ok. ¿A quién más tengo como oyente? Ok, solo Hernán. Vamos a, entonces, la creo. Ahí va. Jose Abel, are you as a listener tonight? Ricardo Tony?
do bad. How about the connection? How do you check all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? No, they haven't. My boss sent the uh, memo every week. I see. By the way, technician is coming. Great. I hope he can fix this problem. Nice. Practice again. Okay. Uh -huh. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, look. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's so bad. How about the connection? How do you check it? Uh, the cables are plugged? Yes. No, my boss sends the a memo every week, every week. I see, by the way, the technician is coming. Great, I hope she can fix this problem. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luke. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. That's too bad. Had about the connection. Had you check, check it? All the cables are proved. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest on the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Yeah. Has the maintenance team replaced? replaced? No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Right, I hope he can fix this problem. Okay. Eh, seguimos practicando o, o tratamos de responder la parte 3? Respondamos las preguntas y después nos quedamos practicando. Okay. La primera es have. Have they checked the system? Sí. Can fix this problem. Okay. This problem. Ahí está. Se le escucha intercortado. Ah, uh, quizás tú sí creo que se me Es que la señal por ratito se, se pone rara. Ok. Ok. Veamos um, las, las preguntas. Ok. El productor works to complete these statements compared with the partner. Check, check out the system. 
they check it. Cerrar el ciclo. No, have, no, that's correct. Have they. Have, has they check, check it, the system. Yeah. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hi. We finish. Excellent. Practice again, just once, once more. Okay. All right, because okay. your classmates, um, well, some teams had problems and got disconnected. As I told you, remember that Zoom ha has a cold. So yeah. I had to reassign this um, participant to another group. So they started over, all right? So that is why. Please continue practicing. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. You are look. Okay. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, look. Well, I don't know. Ahí ya estamos en otro, en otro, en otro, ya en la unidad tres, vea. Ajá. Ok. Vaya, si querés, volvamos a leer eh, esta cuestión del el diálogo. Ya okay. que resolvimos lo de abajo. Voy a empezar yo. Démosle. What's wrong with the computer, George? Hello, Luca. Look. Well, I don't know. I have checked it everywhere. 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 everywhere and it won't turn off. Oh, no. Okay. That's too bad. How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Yes, I have. A Mario, the technician, has check, checked it too. We have not verified the rest. Verify. Verify, verify the rest of the computer. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment equipment yeah equipment yeah equipment equipment yeah i heard that has the maintenance team replaced the batteries no they have they haven't they have they haven't my boss sent sends the a memo every week I see. By the way, the technician is coming. Great. I hope I hope it he can fix this problem. Okay. Perfect. They're coming back.
y que quería comentarle algo. Chao, mía, a ver. Fíjese que me, me, me escribió una Mayra de inglés corporativo diciéndome que por qué no me hice presente el día de ayer y ayer estuve en toda la sesión. <risa> no puede ser. Fíjese que uh -huh. Zoom ha estado dando ese problema. Eh, voy a verificar. Gracias que me dijo. Gracias que me dijo porque ahorita yo voy a ver. ¿Igual también le llamaron? Eh, no, no, solo, solo, mensaje. solo que solo por lo mensaje. general cuando terminan los cursos mandan como el porcentaje de asistencia. Ajá, ajá. Y que yo me acuerdo algo hasta lo imposible por conectarme sea como sea, ajá. pero de repente me mandan 82% de asistencia. Si no ha faltado ni un día. Oh, ok, voy a verificar porque sí han sido reportadas y validadas cada vez, ¿verdad? Ustedes me ayudan en acordarme que a las nueve, aunque nos pasemos un rato, ¿verdad? Pero lo validamos. Este, voy a verificar. Gracias por decirme, ¿ok? Bueno, Así que no, no vayan a dejar de dormir ahora por eso, ¿ok? <ríe> por favor, por favor, que eso es solucionable. All right. uh -huh. Pero gracias que me dijo, a ver, a veces les pasa y no me dicen y se quedan con la preocupación, ¿verdad? Gracias, a ver. All right. Now, let's go. Uh, no, no, let's go. Let's continue with these conversation and the questions, all right? Uh, your answers, please, you will share your answers. Let's do it together, let's do it together. Mm -hmm. Number one, what is correct? Have they or has they? Have they, Have they. all right? Take it, the system. Correct, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it is have. It's a circle, but my circle is not good here. Number two. Has. Mary has had. Correct. Mary has had. All right. Mary has had the same problem. Number three. Our boss sent. Sent. Our boss has sent. Okay, very good. So past participle, yeah. This is the present tense, so it's not correct. So we say our boss has sent a letter. Y en donde se va a ver esa diferencia del verbo cuando hablamos en la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos que ser, empezar ya a, a presionarnos nosotros mismos y practicar la pronunciación. La mejor forma es abriendo la boca y cerrando los finales, ¿verdad? Cerrando los finales, porque si no cerramos el final, no pronunciamos correctos los participios. Correcto. Bien. El participio toma su significado en la pronunciación de la última sílaba, ¿ok? So I will stop sharing. Let me double check here. Ya poco nos falta, ya casi van agarrando los maritates, decía mi mamá. <laughs> Vamos a ver. Permítanme ahorita. Sí, Zoom ha estado un poco con gripe. Y nos ha estado saque y saque. Ok, solo quiero ver acá qué es este. Ok. Bien. Entonces, en la página 32, 32, page 32. Page 32. It says how to use present perfect. Vamos a leer los ejemplos. We are going to read the examples. Okay, just to have it in mind. So please, Rosa, can you read these two examples? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. I have checked the reports. Mm -hmm. They have not replaced the battery. Thank you. Uh, these other two, please, Blanca. She has explained the her situation. The team has not had that kind of problems. 
Thank you very much. All right, so in negative statements, we have to add the particle not. We can make it short using the apostrophe. And remember, we have two different contractions. I have not, I haven't, all right? Now, let's look at what it says here. Use present perfect to talk about unfinished actions or states or habits that started in the past and continue to the present. Use the verbs in the participle form and the auxiliary. What auxiliary are we going to use? What auxiliary? Have or mm -hmm. has. Excellent. Has. It's the verb have, right? It's the verb have. And also for the third person, singular, he, she, it says has, right? Like this. Uh, sorry. Here is has. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we use. Aquí sí sería la que habíamos dicho. Have for the rest of the pronouns. All right. Are we okay? Is there any question about the theory? ¿Hay alguna pregunta acerca de la teoría acá de cómo se formulan? Miren, subject plus the helping verb have or has plus the verb, remember past participle plus the complement. All right, now let's go and let's go down there, okay? Let's move down and we want to complete these um, affirmative and negative sentences. Affirmative and negative sentences, depending on the words they are giving us. Okay, number one. Teacher, there mm -hmm. are there are similar to the mm -hmm. uh, platform. Yes, but I have a problem. And the number three and the number four. Mm -hmm. uh, I I say our team mm -hmm. have fixed the equipment, mm -hmm. but it has run. Okay, why? Uh, uh, why do you say this have? Because we talk about. I think about our, team, our, our team has been taken as a unit, right? As a unit. Maybe that is why. Okay. So you have to use has, right? Uh, what number is it? Uh, because I let me let me go there. Let me go there. Here yeah, we've got it. Y probó poniéndole el punto, o era solo por el have o el has. Vamos a ver, probó con ya el digo, punto. Permítame. Es que yo las estaba haciendo, pero esa me tiraba erro error y la otra también. Ya la voy a comentar cómo las estaba haciendo, permítame. ¿Sí? Solo que me cargue. No, okay. yo, es que cuando yo lo realicé, cuando yo lo hice, eh, a mí me salió pues cabal, entonces estoy verificando a dónde fue. Ajá, es la, it's number, number three, right? Number three, and it says, our team has fixed, our team, aquí le voy a poner, mira. A ver. Okay. 
Ah, yo le había puesto, our team have fixed the machines. All right. Have. Porque tomó team como individual, right? A lot of individual, um, individuals working. But our team, team takes the singular. Team takes the singular. So it is our team, only one, it, right? Has uh, fixed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Has fixed and it says the machines and then the period. Right. Teacher, but the another Jean has not unplugged. I yo lo estaba poniendo similar igual. The Jean has not unplugged. Ah, en esa otra me faltaba el punto. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, ya. Yeah, sí. All right. Good. Thank you. No problem. Okay, then let's try with the Let's try with the, I'm sorry, the manual, okay? Yes. All right, go back to the manual. And over there, we are going to complete these sentences. For us, it's better, uh, I mean, it is better for us <laughs> to repeat things, to remember, right? To repeat things, to drill the knowledge, all right? So let's, write number one. Let's write number one. Aha. Mario. Aha. A ver. Has changed. Mm -hmm. Fuse. The fuse. All right. And period. <laughs> All right. Uh, reminding that. Number two. Hmm? The production has not stopped. Excellent. Number three. Our team is fixed the equipment. Has. Has. Our team. Yes, has fixed. 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 The equipment. Okay. Number four. Jenny has not plugged the cord. Okay, number five. Ya me durmieron, people. The secretary has made enough copies. Has not or oh, has has made. Uh, has made. Uh -huh. The secretary. Secretary has made. It. No copies. There you are. Next one. The technician. Has check it, check it. The connector. There you are. Very good. Okay. Now we are going to work on making some sentences, all right? I will give you the, um, the first slide, all right? The first slide. And you are going to choose three, okay? We, you are going to choose three verbs.
Okay, choose three verbs and make a sentence, right? A sentence for each verb that you uh, have chosen, all right? Okay, sería la primera en participar sería Hazel, el segundo en participar sería eh, Carlos Roberto, okay? Y el tercero en participar sería Carlos Ernesto, okay? Con uh, escogen tres verbos, you choose three verbs and make three sentences, right? One for each verb using this structure. Perfect, uh, present perfect tense. Are you ready, Hazel? Solo me falta una, estoy pensando. All right, all right. I have sent email, sent email, he, he reported a problem, he has reported a problem. Problem and you, you have changed um, opinion or a plan like this your opinion see all right mm -hmm. you have changed changed, changed. Mm -hmm. es como si le hiciéramos ch -ch al final verdad changed. Así la misma changed, changed. Mm -hmm. your thank opinion. you hazel excellent very good mm -hmm. okay the second one and participating Carlos. Oh, Carlos and Carlos, right? How's it going, guys? Carlos Roberto, Carlos Ernesto. How's it going? Si me oyen. Hello. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Oh, all right, all right. Me tiene traumada suma ahorita. A ver. Who is ready who wants to participate? I will present the picture. Okay. Uh, was it Abel or was it Wilbur? <laughs> yes. Abel or Wilbur? No, Wilbur. Wilbur. All right. All right. Okay. Es que es que ahora me estaba hablando así suavecito, eh, entonces por eso. Right. So, you are. There you are, Wilbur. Okay. Uh, Santos has learned how to repair the cell phone. Uh, can you repeat it? I'm sorry. Santos has learned how to repair the cell phone. 
Yes. Very good. Mm, excellent. Uh, Mario has sent the email uh, the last week. Sent. Mm -hmm. Has sent the email. Mm -hmm. Yes, the last week. And the last one is uh, they have both a pair of black shoes. They have both. both. They have both. Mm -hmm. A pair of black shoes. Excellent. Excellent. Well done, Wilbur. Okay, people. Ya estará, ¿Ya estará listo, Mr. Carlos Ernesto? I think they are having the same problem with Zoom, right? Okay, okay. It's 9.54 now. So we are going to listen to... A ver, vamos a cambiar los números, ¿ok? Eh, sigue Karen. After Karen goes Eric. After Eric goes Rafael Antonio. ¿Ok? And let's start. I have placed the light in the building. Right. Okay, Eric. Hey. Um, the team uh, has tested the system. Good. Okay, Rafael. Or was has sent later to the department. Like this? Yes. Okay, our boss has sent the letter to the department. Yes. All right. Next. Ah, si hasta ahí me quedé, ¿verdad? Hasta Rafael me quedé. Yes, yes, I am, I am finished for me. Okay, thank you. A ver, Hernán, please, one example. I have studies and for the example, and examen, no, no sé cómo se examen. Exam. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. I have studied for the exam. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ellen Nilsson? Yes. Um, and he has bought a new car. Excellent. Thank you. 
Okay, let's see. Magdiel? Okay. I have, I have bought four wheels to my car. Oh. To my car, mm, ok, to my car sería que usted se los compró al carro, o sea que el carro se las vendió a usted. Entonces sería for my car. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you. Ok, there you are. Are we ok so far or is there any question? Is there a question about the present perfect? Okay, easy, right? Easy. It's good for me. Excellent. Yes. Okay, now time is almost over. So we please get ready. Get ready. And I'll call the roll. Yeah. Andrea Sofía Benítez Gómez. Blanca Alejandra Portillo Bermúdez. Present teacher. Present. Ok. Carlos Ernesto Pérez. Ok. Carlos Roberto Alemán Prudencio. Present La teacher. Claudia Yamilet Coreas. Present teacher. Elenilson Aparicio del CIE. Present teacher. Eric José Hernández Campos. Present teacher. Hazel Elizabeth Navarro de Cerveñón. Present teacher. Henry Alberto Pérez Rosales. Present teacher. Hernán Antonio Chacón López. Present teacher. Juan Francisco Salmerón Alas. Juan. Is he gone already? Oh my God. Karen Yamilet Rivas de Ayala. Present teacher. Magdiel Saúl García Morales. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Rafael Antonio Barrera Díaz. Present teacher. Ricardo Tony Mendoza Castro. Present teacher. Rosa del Carmen Santa María Tobar. Present teacher. Eh, Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present teacher. Ok. José Abel Isaguirre Mendoza. Here present teacher. Ok. Pedro Alexander Osorto Sánchez. Present teacher. Ok. Is it everything ok, Wilber? Are you ok? Yes, teacher. Ok. Thank you. Ajá. Es que lo oigo bastante calladito. Por eso. Uh, all the way has, has been business. Oh. And I'm tired. Ok. Ok. You're exhausted, right? Okay, then guys, the video conference number 13, turn, I'm sorry, 12. The turn is for Juan Francisco, okay, uh, for the session one on one. He is not present right now, so it is available. Is there any one of you who wants to stay with me in the session one on one to make your questions, to, to ask your or to solve your doubts? Is there any one of you? I'm waiting my turn. I'm sorry? I'm waiting for my turn. Are you waiting for your turn until the end of the course, the last day? Yes. Okay. We are going to celebrate our farewell, right? <laughs> yeah, with pupusitas. <laughs> pupusitas, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Guys, are you sure you don't want to stay with me 10 minutes more just to ask questions or practice anything you want to practice? <laughs> All right, no problem. Go to do your homework, please. Um, remember that you have to um, complete the platform you can work in advance. So bye-bye. 
Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Hello, right. sir. Hello, Magdiel. How are you I wanna, doing? I want to practice with you. Oh, really? Okay, no problem. Come on. <laughs> yeah, nobody. I don't know why. Maybe they are busy, right? Maybe they are busy. Uh -huh. Sometimes we are too, or you are too, and I know, right? But it's okay. Tell me. Tell me. How um, can I assist you here? About the, the present perfect. Mm -hmm. We can mm -hmm. practice. Okay. Um, I I I do other other sentences. Okay. Did you do example, some other? Mm -hmm. I have been sick sick all day. All right. Good. It's, Good. it's example. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> uh, that uh, no. that was okay. That was going to be my next question. Have you been sick the whole day? <laughs> right. Is that true? So yeah, okay. No, Thank God it's right. only an example. Mm -hmm. the, mecha the mechanic has replaced the incorrect spare. Okay, the incorrect spare part, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Wait, wait. I have other 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 example. Mm -hmm. mm, for example, mm, I have I'm sure it, the questions mm -hmm. I have answered. Acuérdese que al final d d um, eso es lo que tiene que sonar d. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y lo de los um, el, el participio de los verbos solamente es es memorizado, no no hay ninguna yeah. regla. Using them. Using them. There is no way to know uh, which one is what? Because uh, which one is which? Because uh, those are the things with English. Okay, eso es lo que pasa con el inglés. Es como bueno que también el español tiene sus cosas, verdad? El español tiene sus cosas que también los pobres que quieren. Nosotros galán porque hemos aprendido un idioma muy muy difícil. Y eso nos facilita aprender otros idiomas, ¿verdad? Mucho mm -hmm. más que a los que tienen un idioma bastante reducido. Uh, reducido en comparación al español, porque también inglés es amplio, ¿verdad? Pero cree usted que es más amplio el español yeah. en yes, diversas, digamos. Yes, it is. Solo imagínese la eh, conjugación de los verbos. Nosotros tenemos que darle una forma a cada persona. Por ejemplo, yo soy, tú eres. Y ese, el verbo ser o estar tiene todavía su complicación, porque ya ha hablado, nosotros decimos vos sos, ¿verdad? Todavía Ajá. agregamos uno más. Él es, ella es, eso es. Nosotros somos, ¿verdad? Vosotros, si, pone, si pusiéramos que todavía lo ponemos en los libros, ¿verdad? Vosotros sois o ustedes son, ¿verdad? Y ellos son. Entonces, muy diferente de sois a son, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. tiene que aprenderse las ocho formas el que está aprendiendo el inglés, ¿verdad? Y aparte, los tiempos verbales son un poquito más, ¿verdad? Porque nosotros tenemos el subjuntivo y el subjuntivo es, es un dolor de cabeza. Si, si para nosotros en español aprenderlo en idioma nacional es 
así el dolor de cabeza más grande, o la sintaxis de la oración, ¿verdad? El tema, que así se llama, la sintaxis de la oración, y estudiar cada parte, cada función, es mucho más compleja que la del inglés, sí, es un poquito más compleja, un poco He más. una pregunta, ¿y cómo se le puede decir a alguien cuando uno solo se encuentra con alguien, cuando uno uh -huh. va de paso, uh -huh. solamente uh -huh. se encuentra y, y solamente es un saludo? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo hi. se le puede decir? Just hi, hi, bye. <ríe> o sea, depende, depende en qué situación. Si es en el trabajo, eh, si usted quiere decir alguna frase relacionada eh, a su lugar de trabajo, ok, mm, podría ser quizás, no, tal vez, mm, no, bueno, según la cultura, ¿verdad? Nuestra cultura es que tenemos que hablar. Nuestra cultura es así. El gringo no, el gringo solo dice, ay, pasa, ¿verdad? Ajá, o sea, no, no, no tiene un detalle, ¿verdad? Como nosotros que todavía nos detenemos para hablar uh -huh. el gringo. Es que a mí me no. pasa, me pasa a veces en las tardes más que todo. Yo uh -huh. donde trabajo hay bastantes americanos. Ajá, ok. Entonces a veces cuando paso, ellos quizás a veces por no hablarle a uno, a ver qué, pero... A veces ah, lo que quedan viendo, ajá. yo no sé si decirle hi, good afternoon. O oh, cómo no. El good afternoon no es muy formal para solamente pasar y decirles. Cómo no, cómo no. Sí le puede decir solo afternoon. ya yeah. Afternoon, yeah, and that. That is. Ok, uh -huh. eh, that's it. Pero tal vez usted quisiera decirles algo relacionado o solo de saludo. No, digamos, solo de saludo, solo por no, para no pasar y no decir nada. Ah, ok. Bueno, no es, no es costumbre ni cultura, por eso usted lo siente raro. No es costumbre ni cultura de ellos hablar en esa situación porque ya los saludaron en un inicio, ¿me entiende? Ya los saludaron uh -huh. en un inicio, pero déjenme ver algo así como para darnos una idea como casual greetings, like, ajá, solo, hey, hi, just like that. Sí. Eh, um, yeah, hey, hi. Let's look at this one. Vamos a ver, a ver si nos sale alguno bonito para esa situación, porque depende de la situación que usted está en el trabajo. A ver, vamos a pasar este, este link quizás. Yeah, hey, hi. Hey, man. <laughs> Hey, man. Ajá. Hey, man. Uh -huh. Ok, le voy a pasar este link que está bonito. Vaya, este salió así aquí, ok, en el Google. Vaya. Se lo voy a pasar porque si no, no está tan... Y dice 17 Useful English Greetings. Así que le puede ayudar dependiendo del contexto en que usted se encuentre con esa persona. Yo, en, en lo personal, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando yo he tenido esa situación, porque somos latinos, ¿verdad? Solo, hello, is everything okay? How's it going? How's it going? Okay. How's it going? Ya no es eh, relacionado a la persona en sí, sino que a lo que está alrededor. Ah, oh, everything good. Oh, okay. Yeah. Y ahí mm -hmm. finaliza. So, how's it going? Pero ahorita se lo paso aquí, ese link está bonito. Entonces, y si necesita más, puede buscar por casual greetings. Así, casual. Uh -huh. Casual greetings. Y yo normalmente con mi jefa, que ella era gringa, sí, morena, muy linda, muy amable. Pero ella tenía esa costumbre. Solamente... In the mañana, in the morning, or if we had a new reunion, I mean, a new meeting, right? Uh, or maybe we had an, an event. If we had an event, then she started with a greeting and she was expecting that we to greet her. Pero de ahí, ella pasaba, pasaba, and no, no había aquella. Una, necesidad una de conexión una vez me pasó que igual me encontré con alguien así yo le dije hello le dije 
Y él me dijo hola. En uh -huh. <laughs> español. Y, y era un americano. Ah, all right, all right. Uh -huh. Quizás él por practicar su español. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, then you can start saying that, saying that. For example, if you say hi, and then the person says, says hola, then you can tell him, right? Ah, so you want to practice your Spanish with me. So he is going to know that you know just a little bit. And then you say, I know just a little bit or my vocabulary is still limited, right? But I want to practice my English. You speak Spanish and I speak English. All right. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. You yeah. may you you can make that connection too. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Ajá. Le voy a poner acá para que se aprenda eso cuando le empiezan a hablar y usted se queda así como eh, ¿qué dijo? Te puede decir my vocabulary is still limited, right? My Sí, my vocabulary is still limited, right? Le puede decir, please uh, talk to me slowly. Okay, slowly or slower, slower, slower. más despacio. Mm -hmm. Slower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You can start with that when they try to talk to you in English, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. But if well, you understand, go ahead, practice. If you understand, <laughs> hey, come on. If you don't understand, ask them. Uh, excuse me, what do you mean? All right, what do you mean, right? Let's see. Or what you say, like this. What do you say? Okay. What do you say, I'm sorry? And they repeat, they repeat. And they, well, there are some of them that they like to teach you, but there are some of them that they are not able to do it, maybe because of the time, maybe maybe because of the situation, or they are just like that. So you have to be patient and don't feel bad. You, you don't have to feel guilty asking, right? It, that's our problem. And that's why we don't learn uh more vocabulary because we are afraid of making mistakes and we are afraid of asking how to do or how to say something right so so please don't be afraid if you don't understand nothing happened go ahead right go ahead <laughs> okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay teacher, yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes do it do it Yes. Very good, my dear. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Thank you for you. No problem. No problem. Here I am. Okay, okay. then. See you tomorrow. Have a very good night. Okay, teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye.